Hello and uh, welcome to this, the 12th Coat of Armies painting tutorial for Warlord Games Epic Scale Napoleonics. Today we're going to be looking at these guys, the uh, 92nd Infantry, or the Gordons. So uh, come along for the ride, let's see how we do with these. My name's John and I make the mistakes so you don't have to. So, as per usual I've gone with the uh, cheap black primer, white scar uh, from Games Workshop as the uh, dry brush white over the top and Vallejo's flat red for the jackets. I must admit I'm really not a fan of the stuff but I've gone with uh, Games Workshop's contrast Dark Angel green paint for the kilt space. Games Workshop's Kislev flesh and don't forget because of the kilts you've got a bit more skin to work with on these ones. A couple of hands down the back and uh, legs as well. Games Workshop Mournfang Brown for the muskets. And uh, Vallejo's brown leather for the uh, brown cross strap there for the uh, water canteen. And on the back there's that little strap down on the bottom left of the jacket there. Vallejo's London grey for the great coat rolls. Don't forget you can see a little bit from the front, so get those covered, even a little dab in between the rifle and neck here and there. Doesn't hurt. Games Workshop Avalon Black on the front here for the uh, bayonets. The uh, Busby slash bonnet hat. The buckles on the front of the uh, cross belts. The boots and round the back. There is a little bit of scabbard showing if you want to do that. Uh, the bullet boxes, backpacks that come with these interesting little round things. Um, I haven't done any research, so I don't know the technical term, but I'm going to call them porridge hogs. So just so that uh, Highland troops can uh, make porridge properly, unlike the English. And it'll be made in the traditional way, using only sulfuric acid and granite. None of this salt and honey and milk rubbish, that's just soft. Games Workshop Cantor Blue for the uh, water canteens there. And here I've used Vallejo's buff for the bread bags and uh, a couple of hairs there. I've used uh, Games Workshop's Lead Belcher Silver on the gun barrels and the buttons. And purely on the grounds that I've never used it before so I thought I'd give it a go and a bit of variety. I've used uh, Vallejo's Oily Steel on the bayonets and on the porridge hogs. And give them a good wash over with uh, Games Workshop's Agrax Earthshade. I think it really helps to add just a few features to the face. Of course it sinks into all those nooks and crannies. Brilliant stuff, love it. So I've done a little uh, prep work here using uh, Games Workshop's White Scar for the uh, plume on the helmet, the uh, band underneath the Busby cuffs and the socks and the collars if you're crazy enough to do that. And pretty much same on the back. Um, I've done a fair bit of research into this whole tartan thing and I've come to the conclusion that the best way to actually achieve this is to go with a uh, guiding light Stuart Mack of Miniature Realms' tutorial and uh, follow his procedure. Um, if I even had the faintest idea of how to pop a link in I'd do it but I have no idea so I won't you just have to google him yourselves. Um, I didn't have the right kind of blue in my opinion so I've done a mix of Games Workshop's McCrag and Low Fern Blue. So for the uh, kilts of cuffs and collars, I've gone with uh, Games Workshop's Avaland Sunset. So I've used Vallejo Off White for the uh, jacket facings, cross belts, little marks on the cuffs, redone the flute plumes, and of course the uh, shoulder wings. And everybody's favourite, the backpack straps, and the straps across the uh, porridge hogs there. Well, that's been a fascinating test of sanity. Uh, I've gone with Games Workshop's Evil Sun Scarlet for a few highlights on the jacket. The cross hatching on the uh, hats and uh, socks, and the uh, plumes for the uh, line centre centre companies. Jolly good fun. Wibble. And last but not least, Vallejo Brass for the uh, cross belt buckles. And on the back, the wee 
chunky bit of brass on the uh, back of the muskets there. So for all intents and purposes, these are done. So thanks for uh, watching and um, I hope you have as much fun painting these as I did. <laughs> Good luck.